In this video, we are going to talk about the Media Interface Unit Equipment, the MIU. We are going to provide some tips for troubleshooting. The MIU is the equipment that allows the passenger to monitor the progress of their flight worldwide in high-definition resolution. In the front of the unit, you are going to be able to see three LEDs. The first one is green, that indicates power. The second one is yellow, that indicates link. And the third one is the red one, that indicates fault. There is a cover in front of the unit that can be removed. With this cover removed, you are going to be able to see the primary and secondary hard drive, the maintenance parts, and four USB ports. The USB ports are used to load briefings, ordinance, and instruction videos by using a USB key. Now that we presented the unit, we are going to talk about the troubleshooting and how to identify if there is an issue with the unit. One of the first behaviors that indicates a possible issue with the MIU is when you select the movie map as a video resource by using the Galitut screen panel. If you powered up the bookhead monitors and after select the movie map, you realize that you have a black screen or a kind of disk image, you will need to check the MIU's LED status. If the red LED is on, you have a bad unit, so you will need to replace it. After the unit's replacement, power on the aircraft and wait until the ovation system recognizes the new unit. You will realize this step when you see the master loader screen on the gallated screen panel. As soon as the system concludes the master package load in this unit, you will see another image asking to reboot the system. At this moment, please wait until the ovation system to become operational and the power on the bookhead monitors. You will be able to see that the MIU is missing files. There are three files that needed to be loaded in the MIU after the replacement. They are logo, model, and team. Those files are provided by our technical support, so every time you need to replace a unit, you need to reach out to us and uh, let us know your aircraft tail and serial number, and we are going to provide to you all the necessary files to be loaded through your equipment after replacement. In addition to the files that are loaded by using CPP, our program that we use to support our customers, the briefings, ordinance, and instruction videos are loaded with a USB key directly in the USB port, and those files are provided with the logo, module, and team as well. These activities uh, can be supported remotely, so anytime you need our support, reach out. And even if you are in field, we are going to be able to load the files to you remotely by using our Aerospace Remote Connect tool. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.